Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you guys back to some more of Let's Play Mega Man 6. Last time we left off, we beat up all of the Robot Masters, we got beat, and now we're making our way into Mr. X's palace, and what's this? No satellite dish, but he does have a Mario pipe in the lower right-hand corner for some reason. I don't know why, I can't figure that one out, but it's, it's there. Nice little Easter egg on the part of Nintendo, I suppose. And our first stage apparently takes place in uh, Bespin Cloud City, by judging by the background. But, whatever, you know? Mega Man is uh, bound to go anywhere to fight the evil forces of Dr. Wily, and sometimes it leads him into the Star Wars universe. Oh well, that's just how it goes. So this level is all about going up. This actually kind of reminds me of the intro to Mega Man 2, where it just shows you climbing up that tower, and the background's all purple as well. We're going to be using a lot of Rush Jet here, a whole lot of Rush Jet for uh, pretty much the remainder of the game, definitely these next few levels, so hopefully you're used to how uh, Rush Jet works by now, kind of the physics behind it, because it can be kind of tricky to figure out. Um, right here, there's a shortcut. If you use the POW, the Mega Man power suit, and bash through that wall, um, it'll take you through a shortcut that'll take you right to the end of the stage. I've never, ever been able to do that before. It's just... I don't know how the hell to do it. If there's a trick to it, if someone knows how to do it, let me know. It's one of the few things in Mega Man I've never done. I just don't know how to do it without dying, so... Uh, but there's probably nothing more important there than maybe an E-Tank or something, so don't worry about it. And I'll even show you where the shortcut lets you through. Um, otherwise, you gotta deal with a lot of these ball blasters, and man, they are not fun. Let's see if I can get underneath this one, maybe. Let's see a little tricky flying here. Nope! Oh, well, okay, as long as they don't die. That's the important part. Okay, just... no, uh, no, uh, jeez. Navigate around these guys. Man, you wouldn't think that these guys would be that tough, but honestly, these are probably the worst enemies in the game. Jeez. I'm almost down to, almost down to half health here already. Guess I'll take this guy out the, uh, the regular way. Alright, at least it only took one go. Moving right along. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, some guys that just take one shot to kill, and these... Oh, damn! Skull guys. Oh, I thought I could fly above them, but... I guess that offstage invulnerability doesn't quite work in Mega Man, and that time I just deliberately ran into him. Uh, you could break those uh, blue barrels down there if you break them. I think a uh, few of them here have 1-ups and E-Tanks in them, but I'm just going to pass them up. I think I've got, what, 6 E-Tanks right now anyway? Uh, so right here, this is where that shortcut would have led you. Uh, you would take that ladder up, and it will lead you right to Mr. X's first Robot Master boss. And uh, this one is actually pretty tough. He's probably the toughest of these three stages we're going to go through. Um, he's just weird. It's two of these things that are on rails, and you can only attack them from either the left or right side, depending on which direction they're coming at you. Um, I know it's really tricky. All I can recommend is just stay away from them, try not to be underneath them. Uh, eventually, they kind of have two separate health bars, even though they only have one. So once you take out one of them, then once you only have one to deal with, it's a lot easier, and they will eventually they'll change up their paths. And it, you know, it's it's nothing too tricky. Just a lot of sliding, a lot of jumping. Um, always have your Mega Buster charged up to full, and oh no, they don't hurt that bad at least. Okay, so there's the first one. Boom! Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Oh, can't take that guy from the right apparently. Jeez, I don't know. Sometimes. Even the way that they're coming at you, you can't attack them from that way. It's really kind of hard to figure out, but, I mean, not the hardest boss in the world. Um, I, I don't think you'd have too much trouble with any of the bosses in uh, Mr. X's levels. They're just, uh, you know, they're, they're more innovative, at least, than those generic robots we had in the Proto Man Castle in 5, but, you know, they're still pretty basic. Nothing too uh, monumental, nothing to write home about, if you will. Alright, so after that, look at that Mario pipe, it's just so weird. Why is that there? Is that like Mario's, or not Mario's way of one-upping, but Nintendo's way of like one-upping Capcom? It's like, oh, we published this game without you, you know, just giving us your authority to authorize it to be published, or uh, they might have said that you could publish it anyway. I don't know, but whatever. Whatever the whole debacle might be. Let's get to our kind of obligatory hard hat level for uh, this time. Uh, here we have these kind of, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, cut out orange panels. Uh, you can fall through them and they kind of become a sort of gimmick for the stage, so keep that in mind. Also, the other gimmick, tight, tight corridors. So, uh, just be careful not to kill yourself with spiky. Spiky death is definitely the way they're gonna go in this stage. I don't know why they put this here, just to, hey look, we can have fall away floors too. I don't know why, but, alright, whatever. So, like I had said before, we're gonna be using a lot of rush jet. Lots of jetting around, so, uh, luckily for this one, you don't have to do any kind of acrobatic moves. Uh, here's a one that you can fall right through. And now we're going to have the fall through instant death ones. Oh, jeez. Let's see if we can uh, manage this. All right. All uh, right. Now jump. No, no. Oh, God. Oh, 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 that was close. 
Uh, oh, almost had a no de I almost had a one death to this no death run thing going. Oh, thank goodness for Rush Jet. It is actually like it comes close to breaking the game. Uh, not since Mega Man 3 ever found something so uh, so game breaking. You know that Rush Jet in Mega Man uh, 3 and the Metal Blades in Mega Man 2 and then this Rush Jet in Mega Man 6. That yeah really makes for some easy gameplay all in all. Alright, so what do we have? Just more hard hats? These kind of are kind of annoying hard hats. They're not even the really fun ones that do different things, so not really anything to mention about them there. Now, this boss is going to be kind of tough, because it is literally, this is probably the most chaotic boss maybe in any of uh, the quote-unquote wily stages in any of the games that I've played. Um, it's this wall-hugging boss, and it just goes up and down this wall, and so you really have to uh, time your shots well against it, but it will fire a multi-shot at you, and there are continuously these rocks falling from the ceiling. Uh, they don't do a lot of damage, um, but uh, between having to dodge all this mess and uh, fight, having to get a good shot off with the tomahawk, this guy can be pretty tricky. So just kind of grin and bear it, dodge where you can, fire where you can more importantly, and uh, you should be able to make it out of this one without too much trouble. Oh, jeez, I say that. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it without using an E-Tank here. No, but no. See, like I said, though, not a lot of damage being done by any of the stuff coming at you, so we made it through, but it's important. Uh, if you didn't get the energy balancer um, in Tomahawk Man stage, remember to get as much energy regain as you can in Tomahawk Man's power, because we are going to need that severely for when we go into the Wily stages. And, you know, like I said before, I'm not even going to act like Dr. Wily is not the boss in this game. Come on, we all know that he is. Uh, one up to get it or not to get it. I've got seven of them right now. I think I'm all right. We're just going to go up here and uh, see what we can do in this direction first. This isn't the right direction, mind you, but we do have a little something special. Yay, another E-Tank. Awesome. So that puts us up to seven E-Tanks, I believe. That should be more than enough to uh, to handle the rest of this game. Oh, didn't mean to go up there. All right. Hmm. So can I make that jump with just Mega Man? Nope. Oh, that, not at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, maybe I should have just thrown on the power suit and gotten that extra life. I would have taken a hit anyway, but whatever. All right. Moving on. Uh, this guy. For some reason, sometimes you can fly up over this guy's head, and sometimes you can't. I don't know why, but it's just one of those things. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, and especially leaving that area, I always get hit by one of those flames, too. So now we're down to nearly half health, but we'll be alright. Now this, oof, I've already been stressing more than I should have the whole rush jet thing, but you're really going to need to know how to use rush jet here. I mean, this is, this is straight up NES platforming to its fullest. So, uh, just, you know, make your way around here as, as swiftly as you can. That, that's a good word for it. Swiftly. And, uh, try not to get killed. Just take your time. Whenever one of the flamethrower guys shows up, just try to take him out. And then, when you have your chance, just fly across. Should be fine. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to switch up here to normal Mega Man. Take out these guys. Remember, they can only be taken out with the Mega Buster. So, there's one, and boom! Oh, twofer on that one. Nice. Alright, so what do we have over here? Oh, don't don't even bother going on this lower path. It's just there to, to trick you and be like, hey, you can go this way, there might be something fun over there, but, and most of the time there is. But uh, this time, not so much. No, no, it's just completely uh, the same route, you just run into more enemies that way. So, just skip that one and go up this way and uh, cut off this flamethrower guy before he gets you, and you should be perfectly fine. Well, except for all the more platforming that we're going to have to do to finish the stage. But uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Silly flamethrower guys and rush jet physics and... Uh. Alright, maybe we can just fly over most of this and let's see. Oh, oh, I'm not going to have enough rush jet. I'll have to take a hit there. Oh well. Uh, having to take a hit is more worthwhile than dying. Very important. Pro tip of the day. Taking the hit, well worth it. And we can bust through this wall here and grab ourselves an energy regen so those hits were worth it anyway. Grab ourselves the uh, rush jet once more, and we are almost to the end here. We just have a little bit more chaos to endure, and we can jump up and over around this guy. Hooray! We did it, and we look, may look fancy in the process. Oh, and luckily this boss is not nearly as tough as the last one was. Just throw on the blizzard attack. We're probably going to use every bit of blizzard to take him out, but that's not a big deal, because if you think about the Robot Masters, Plant Man would be weak against uh, the blizzard attack, and we ended up using just regular, normal Mega Man powers to beat Blizzard Man before anyway, so don't even worry about it. Uh, as you can see here, one of the shots missed. Normally you can just stand on the ground and, and fire, and that top snowflake will hit the hard hat, but uh, not so much this time, unfortunately. 
Oh, oh, well, okay, fine. Might as well take him out with our good old Mega Buster. Do it the traditional way, right? Ooh, bam! Right to the face! Or something. I don't know. I think I was a little weak for a boss, you know, just a, a hard hat and a, some sort of a pod or something. Eh, whatever, though. Anyhow, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Next time, we go to the dreaded final level, and we fight Mr. X. What could possibly happen? What kind of revelations will be had? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man 6. This has been the Johnny Cage. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you have not. And I'll talk to all of you guys tomorrow.